All right, all right. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Stream Cycle. Uh, we're here, and we got a great show lined up for you. Um, all five of us, we're going to play four at a time. Uh, first up, we got, well, let's see who we got. On the bass, it's Ewan Gibson. On the drums, it's Callum McIntyre. Yes, yes. Uh, and I'm just going to give our illustrious guest, uh, Mr. John McKenzie, who's our first guest tonight. I'm going to give him the go ahead. So he will be with us in a moment. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just uh, say thanks very much for showing up, folks. Who have we got here? We've got Colin, Haya, Lewis, Haya, Candice. It is a big reveal. Let me just get ready to unmute him, actually. So maybe we should get some sound on. <laughs> Shall we just wait for, uh, well, we're waiting for John to receive the message in the past. And then he's going to jump on. He's just playing some guitar. Let's get him. Let's get his camera up, shall we? Boom. John McKenzie, everyone. Yes. Um, and I'm just going to, as soon as he starts talking, I'm going to get that sound done. I've had internet problems earlier today, folks. So fingers crossed. Right. There he is now. John, new thing for me. New thing for all of us, I think. Thanks very much to Mike Kearney for inviting me to do this and um, C-Mac and the drums as well. Oh, what a player. Haven't seen you in so long, brother. Hope you're doing okay. Um, you and on the bass as well. Great. Hey How you doing? We, were doing a, we were having a laugh last night doing another online um, podcast, weren't we? That was pretty, pretty funny stuff. Epic. Three hours long. Okay. I'm just going uh, to go for this. Hopefully it works. Do it, do it. Fingers crossed, everybody. It's called Holidays on the Moon. Play it in E, boys. Okay. I really like the moon. Let's go today. Don't you want to rub your feet? thousand miles from home but that ain't no concern probably won't have for that promise will return this ancient coastal heartland where I wish to go tonight use a voucher from the paper Step for me. 
John McKenzie, everybody. That was amazing. How's the sound out there, folks? Let us know. It's very hard to tell. It's very hard to tell in here. Well, Let's know if it's... How, how's it oh, sound? Yeah. Any good? Let John know if it sounds any good. Give him some support. He's on his own. Uh, no, just uh, if anybody's watching out there, I can't, I can't hear the others. I can't hear, what, I can't hear what they're saying. So, forgive me if I'm speaking over uh, vital or indeed sensitive parts, of, bits of information. That's okay, that, John. That Mike or the boys might be broadcasting <laughs> to you. All good. So I'm no listening. I just can't hear. Candy says like a bunch of frickin' um, pros. Sounds amazing. Okay, Thank you. Ne next song I'd like to try is a uh, new in New York. It's got a real uptown feel to it. It's going to be in C. All right. Plus. All right. So um. Okay. Are ready? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get my tempo. Right. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. From New England to New York, I'm sure it's much the same. Location and geography, warning for trend the game. People say no, but not. Find a substitute for pain Cause your love to me is like medicine Instead of TV and cocaine You wrap me up my solitude I really should have known Viewed you like the others Dressed like blood and flesh and bone You strip my paranoia Put my insanity out on loan For a few short hours So you give it back When you drop me back at home Can't you see The only time that I feel alive is when you make me feel I'm not. So kill me one more time and make me come alive. I can die and live forever if you be my wife. Take it, Mike. Ridiculous. Cheers. Cheers, John. How's everyone uh, doing out there? Everyone says, sounds in absolutely fantastic, says Colin. Ooh. Fast running out of superlatives, right, says uh, Don. Let's do it. Everything's going fine. Go Mike, says Wilma. Right. Thanks, Wilma. Mine is called Zero. What key did we agree to do this in? Uh, we're doing this well, in, uh, we can't talk to you, John. But you can't hear me, so... <laughs> I honestly key can't one. remember what key I just told the boys to do it in. Was it G? 
Was it A? It was A. Oh. <laughs> I've got it here in an email. Don't check him. Um... An email, for God's sake. Any key you want, man. It's, it's all the same. professional, man. Colin says superb. It's a. Oh my God. Right, okay. Who knew? It's you and A. <laughs> hey, Willie. Yeah, we did. Thanks, John. Great. You're welcome as well. Thanks, Toby. All right. Um, huh. I've got two songs left. Uh, uh, thanks very much to everybody who's tuned in. Uh, please stick around for Toby Martyr's Heads set next. It's going to be fantastic. Um, this is a newer song of mine called Ride, which uh, you can find on Spotify. I've never actually played this with a band before. I've only recorded it. Me and my me and my mate uh, Louis Malvesi recorded it together. Um, he's a drummer, top drummer, and he played bass drummer. on it. So I don't know. I don't know how this sounds. It'd be great. <laughs> it's in E. Ready, lads? Sure. All in at the same time. One, two, one, two. Yeah. 
Kenzie, all right, amazing stuff. Thanks, John. Band sounding oh, great. Said, can someone chuck a link to this stream on Siobhan Wilson's page, please? Um, thank you. <laughs> all right, um, thanks very much for tuning in, folks. What's my haircut like, man? I developed a, a lockdown bowl cut. I got a ring, Ringo rubber sole era. Here doing the goal then. It's gorgeous, John. It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> this is another song that I've uh, I've never heard um, uh, played with a band. I, I've only I've only demoed it. I haven't even recorded it yet. It's really new. It's called uh, "Devil in the Deep Blue Sea." I thought you were going to say uh, you've never heard it before. It's in <laughs> D. I've never, I've never heard it before. <laughs> you, do, you spectators don't need to know what key it's in, but I'm just tell, telling the boys. Just I appreciate that, John. Fusion, you know? Thank it's you. Always, always appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. It's all in. All in at the same time. Okay. Ba 
Papuška, 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 come on, papuška, come on, John, papuška, 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 oh, he's gone, come on, John, papuška, 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 oh, it didn't work, folks, we seem to have lost John, uh, that's the internet for you, this is 100% live, in case you were in any doubt. Yeah, listen to Ewan. John is... John McKenzie, all uh, right. Thanks so much for tuning in, taking a bit of time out. Here's some music online. Thanks to Mike for organising this. Um, what a mammoth job. Um, yeah, I don't even know technically how it worked. I just sat here in my kitchen and uh, played the songs. But uh, grateful for that. So cheers. Thank you so much, John. Be safe, everybody. All right. Thanks, John. Awesome. So, folks, well, I am going that. to... Meet, and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna come over here and oh excuse me while we wait for Toby to beam in I'm just gonna uh, get rid of the guys and I'm gonna say hello over here where am I I'm here um just folks so you just saw John McKenzie incredible uh incredible uh guitarist and singer songwriter such a pleasure to have him involved um and what a set shame about some of the technical technical issues towards the end there but to be honest uh we got off lightly i think this is it's like going out on the waves in a storm a really bad storm when people die every weekend uh and sometimes we all make it back and sometimes the ship makes it back it's uh i'm, I'm really into my analogies and it's like a big, it's like a perfect storm analogy. Anyway, I think we have Toby Morissette. We're getting better at the timing. I think we've got Toby ready. Uh, I'm just going to tell him that it's time to go. And then we'll have Toby Morissette up. Okay, so we're working with delays. What are people in the comments saying? I better get ready to... Better get ready to unmute. Um, Willie Sinclair says, excellent. Really, really done, lads, says who? 
Uh, nothing beats the tension of live music, says who? John's visual not in sync. Uh, hopefully we got that sorted, mom. Um, never heard John talk so much. That was perfect, you guys. Thanks, Candice. Okay. John's that's one of the best tracks I've heard for ages. What a brilliant song. Shades of George Harrison. Absolutely. Colin, Colin Cornwall saying that. So, um, uh, and Eden says, Ride is sounding so cool with the whole band. Uh, absolutely. Great work, folks. Thanks for all the feedback. Um, we are ready to go with Toby. And I'm just going to unmute him when the time is right, when he gets my message. Toby, if you do hear me and you're listening, you are good to go. Let's see what he's saying. Toby, you have to go. I have to go, yeah? He's trying to get you on. Toby, let's do it. Go live. I'm, I'm, I mean, I am. I'm ready. Showtime. Get ready to unmute. Well, he hasn't added the rest of the that's uh, that's two minutes behind okay uh, it's time to go let's let's go toby let's say your uh, start your performance please so this is what happens folks when um essentially i'm speaking to toby's past self so what you're seeing now is his no i'm speaking to oh, i can't i can't work it out but let me get my uh iphone stuff ready I think he's probably going to wait for um he's trying to come just waiting for Toby to start. Go Toby, go says Candice. You're supposed to get his message. You are good to go, Toby. Okay. Here we go. Toby Morris said, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what's going on? All the back and forth. Hey, welcome to my living room. Um, <laughs> I guess we're live. This is a very surreal uh, circumstance. Um, thanks yes. for having me, Mike, and the band. Pleasure. It's an absolute honour and a pleasure to be involved. Uh, really enjoyed watching John's set. Uh, John's an old uni buddy of mine. We were in the, the same same course. Um, so it's nice to see uh, we're both on here together. All right, so the first tune we're going to play tonight is R.L. Burnside, Going Down South, Hill Country Blues. It goes like this. Wait. You're two minutes behind. No, just go, just go. In that case, I shall wait. No, don't wait. Oh, my God. See, this is what happens when you get into a loop of communication, folks. For Toby to start. Go. <laughs> Going down south. All right. This is going to go on for a while. <laughs> That's okay. Well, Toby's just trying to figure out uh uh, okay. that, that there's a delay in communication. So it's two minutes behind, but you just, you just go. Yeah, just go, just go, just go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> cool. So I think a little confusion there. Um, <laughs> if you'll bear with us, uh, we're going to tear into that song now. Going down south. Time yeah. travel.
down south, going down south, going down south, going down south, going down south. Yeah, the wind's gonna blow. Go with you, baby. Toby, Toby, let's keep it going. Okay. I see what's happening here. So <laughs> Liga's watching in real time. It's in another time. This is some Matrix <laughs> shit going on here, folks. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play the next song. <laughs> I feel like I'm in quantum time loop here. It's very strange. It's very strange. It's great. It's time. All right. Nice this is one. a tune called uh, Mercy. Okay. It's like this. I got a ragtime formula inside of my head Coming back to me now from the ages of the dead Tom Waits, the old man, I bet that he came Up inside his head until he came Calling back to the wife to you Poison in your head, seeping and a creeping in the Every single bed in your dreams when you wake Break like an egg Every little try but you can You cry mercy, mercy on me Mercy, mercy on me Make you all liable to sing in every church and every bar and every land I'm like a blackjack dealer, I'm dealing out the cards You fumble with your soul, go gamble with your luck But when you get to heaven, if it's where you want to go You can't use coal, you gotta gamble with your soul
with your silver and your gold, you're getting running high. When you're burning inside, it's a soul calling you. So you better make the time for a date with a wild jungle lady. He's snatching and a grabbing in a wild jungle way, you can't retire. You gotta look me in the eye, you gotta tangle with your soul. You gotta dance with the fire. You gotta dance with the fire. Christian or a Muslim or a Jew, you can call yourself a prophet or a liar or a fool when the chips are on the table. You can't use coal, you can't use fat. You gotta gamble when the time goes near to lay down and die. The sun is setting fast on the last blue sky. You say, please, oh please, but it's too late, friends. Boy, your mercy on me. Or on me. Okay, so uh, my trusty assistant here, Liga, informs me that my mom is watching, so uh, hi mom. I hope you're doing okay. Liga, Thanks make sure the volume's show. down on, on, on the stream you're the watching. picture and all of that. Um, so a shout out to the band. As I said, it's a great honor to be playing with these guys. And um, as I said, many years ago, John and I um, were, were at uni together. Two little uh, misfits <laughs> in guitar class. Um, and also, when I was at uni, um, I, I invited Mike and uh, Cal, uh, Mark, to, to assist me in my uh, end of year exam. We had to do an yeah. exam in front of a panel. You know, I remember that. Really, uh, horrendous experience. And I, uh, I asked all these great musicians if they would be in my band, and they did. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, I don't know if you guys remember those gigs. <laughs> they were pretty hellish. I can't remember what. I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to... Forget. Just comment on that. Um, it's a no. Wonderful experience. I can't remember it. No, I can't remember it. I probably blocked it out. Mike? Yeah, I blocked it out. I probably didn't have a good Get time. Get ready for the next song. Um, well, there's a wee break in the conversation, folks. Um, if you do want to pay for this gig, if you do think this is of value, then click the link above. Um, the payment link that uh, the money goes straight to the stream cycle team it pays these pro musicians for their work okay we're trying to put these pro musicians back to work it looks like uh, the government's gonna stop supporting all musicians and all self-employed people uh, in about a month's time so uh, we're on our own after this so we need to start making some money so we're gonna try to create content uh, and before we go exclusively to you know um, Ticketed Sorry, events. There's uh, some technical technical issues there. Thank you. We are uh, we're gonna just ask for yeah, donations from yourselves. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna gonna keep it rolling. Do so it. So we're gonna do a tune now, one of my own tunes called uh, Rattlesnake Blues, and this is inspired by the old tradition from uh, back in times of slavery. Um, the guys used to get together and kind of well, initially were fighting. There was a lot of fighting going on, and then. People just started, instead of putting fisticuffs down, they would start fighting with words. It's kind of the origins of hip hop way, way back in time. Um, so that was known as the Dirty Dozens. You would just tear into someone verbally. So this song is, is inspired by that idea. Um, Rat Snake Blues. <laughs> Here, lost but I'm found here. I'm looking for rough stuff, tough stuff, stuff without a bone. If you can drink stuff, then leave the mess alone. Yeah. You know, I looked in there at a snake and I say,
Straight cut to the bone with the butcher's knife Been sprayed with a 45 Dynamite blow me from the mountainside Rattlesnake made me, he crawled back and died And I looked at the rattlesnake and I said Take it, Mike. It's all that organ vibes. Organ, eh? Cheers, Toby. <clears throat> All right. What's next, Toby? Okay, so the next one. This is another one. There we go. So this song, um, this song took me the longest time to write. It's a fairly short song, really. Um, it's not very complicated musically or anything like that. Just the the idea behind it, I, I, I think I just wrote a couple of lines one day and I, I liked them, there was something in there and it stuck with me so I, I worked on it for quite a while and the idea initially was just about the old gods of the wind, you know, from the ancient times, the ancient Greeks and things like that. They had uh, Zephyrus, you know, Zephyrus and all these dudes. So I looked into that a bit, back to Homer's Odyssey and all of that stuff, but then I ended up fishing closer to shore, um, the west coast of Scotland, there's some great history from back in seafaring times when the sailors used to petition, well, get the witches who lived by the coast uh, to petition the winds on their behalf for a safe passage across the, the channel or wherever they were heading. And they wouldn't sail until they'd seen the local witch and had her conduct some sort of rite. So I did some research into all of this and found some cool stuff and this song is about that so it's called Keeper of the Winds. Let me just get this on here. Cool, cheers Toby. All right, Ewan's got the big boy out again. Candice, what do you think? David Brown says, loved Rattlesnake Blues. Cheers David. Tight as a tight thing says Willie Sinclair. Well done. Thank you so much, Willie. Cheers for your support.
tallest days When I appear I can't be found I'm the zephyr in your seas In my hand I hold a sack of sand What a trouble Interesting, interesting direction. <clears throat> you know, we're all existing in four different time zones. We're existing, we're only existing together in relative time. Eh, work that one out. Toby's gonna do something. Um, C Max gonna. So C Max now on his own. <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do. He's C Max right, gone as well. All good, Toby. What's up next? Cool. I hope you're all having a good time out there. Um, I will catch up with you afterwards. I can't see you right now. Um, I'm kind of playing in the dark, uh, as you know. Um, so I'll just crack on for now. Um, let us know how you're doing in the comments. Ask us any questions. Um, and Mike will be able to address those in real time, I, I believe. Yeah. So, um, so will you. Chime in. Chime in, folks. I hope you're doing all right. Um, this is a tune by uh, the wonderful Andrew Bird. Uh, just a oh, song yeah. that I really love and I want to play it so I'm going to play it it's called Lusitania right Q. 
keep sinking all my ships Well, you're the one who sank my Lusitania Somehow I don't register as pain at all Till it flies your crooked in my it's not to remember the name oh. From our fingertips Will you come A hazard To this dream Only you Get charged Out in the rain There's a 60 cycle hum Go ahead Say something dumb Thank you, Toby. All right. Nice one, Toby. So you just have to bear with me for a second here. I need to do, I need to retune a guitar and get that ready. No problem. I'll take over. Unless C-Mac wants to say anything or you and... No, I guess it's over to me. Okay, let's see what the comments are doing, folks. We've got, uh, Julie says, sounds great. Don't know how you manage it. Me neither, Julie, me neither. I love Andrew Bird says Colin Cornwall. Me too. Um, I actually hadn't hadn't heard anyone who played any of his tunes. So this will be a, a, another Hill Country Blues by R.L. Burnside. Um, this is a tune that you and, and myself actually recently did a workshop on for the Edinburgh Blues Academy uh, last week. And I thought I'd just include it in the set because it's so much fun to play. And it only has one chord. Perfect. <laughs> so perfect for this situation, one would think. The Hill Country style of blues, if you're not familiar with that particular style. Yeah. It's a style of Mississippi blues. Yeah. That has sort of evolved out of the Delta. And it has its own signature sound. Very hypnotic. Um, really groove-based music. Doesn't tend to have too many fancy chords or anything. Just heavy grooves. Love it. Um, it's a very cool style of blues. Cool. Candace says, c -Max trippy mallet action making this even more haunting. I can't wait to listen back to that last one, actually. Oh, no, the one before. Almost ready. Shades of David Crosby, says uh, Jock Potts. Thanks, Jock. Superb, says Julie. Jack Nissan says, this is amazing, folks. Love it. Thanks a lot, Jack. Cheers for tuning in. 
Again, folks, if you want to... Um, All right. I'll speak to you after. We're good to go. Liga's having a giggle over there, so something funny must be going on. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm chatting. I'm giving all the chat. Oh, all the uh, all the banter. All right. Straight um, back at you. You guys are ready? We're going to do uh, Paul Black Maddie yeah, in man. the key of G. And uh, just groove it on out and see what happens. You got it. Ain't got changing clothes Who got drunk Through the clothes I do Poor Black Maddie Ain't got changing clothes Who got drunk Through the clothes I do Play it Need no heater Five place by my bed, woman I got, keep me cherry red. You know, eat a five place by my bed, woman I got, cherry red. Let's go. Toby Mortishead, that's grooving. It's really, really hard to groove over the internet. You gotta groove. You gotta feel the person's heartbeat. But uh, that was that was close enough. That was the closest right, stuff. So this I've is been. gonna be my last number. Um, I haven't, haven't played this song. I wrote this song a long time ago, but I haven't played this song in public. Um, maybe one time, one time before. Um, I recorded it with my band, Black Diamond Express. Um, and the song itself, it's a fascinating piece of history. It's, it's way back in the 1930s in Australia, there was this amazing crime case. It was like an unsolved mystery in Australian crime history. And um, I always loved sharks as a kid. I was obsessed as soon as I saw Jaws, you know. At the end of Jaws, I was the kid in the room. All the other kids were celebrating when they killed the shark. I was a kid that was crying because they killed the shark, you know. 
Anyway, so I, I found this uh, news clipping about this piece of history, and it just stuck in my head for, well, for years, actually, I was thinking about it. And then one afternoon I sat down and wrote the song. So the names have been changed. And basically what I did with this piece is I, I took the real facts of the case. Here's the guy that was killed. His name was Jimmy Smith. Um, he was some sort of racketeer or gambler. And he got in some kind of trouble, we don't know what. And he was presumably killed in some manner and thrown in the ocean. Now that was bad luck enough, but then uh, he, was, he was possibly dismembered. We're not sure what happened. But anyway, uh, marine biologists sometime later, the case was closed. There was no way to find this guy. Nobody knew what happened to him. And then marine biologists bring in this mako shark into the aquarium and it's ill and it, in, it's on public view. And whilst it's on public view, it regurgitates a human arm. Oh. <laughs> and it had an unusual tattoo here. I can see that. had a tattoo here of uh, two, two boxers. It's quite a distinctive tattoo. Anyway, the guy's brother got called in. He identified the arm, and it was sufficient evidence to reopen the case. Then they got to the point where they had a witness who was going to testify in the case because it was believed to be a, some sort of gangland thing, you know. And then the night before the trial, he was offed in his car, and that was the end of it, and it never got any further. It's a fascinating story. So anyway, that, that was the information I had, but I needed to write the song, and I needed, to, I needed to think about who he was before he got killed. We didn't have that information, so I just made that up. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this is my uh, tune. I changed his name from Jimmy Smith because I didn't want to be associated with the jazz singer or the jazz organ player. Um, and I had an old friend who was quite a character, and he used to call himself William Dakota. I thought that was a pretty cool name, so uh, I called this the Ballad of William Dakota. All right. Thank you, Toby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Toby Morris said, please give it up. William Dakota was a gambling man. Had a cold, dead stare, never showed his hand Like a shark out of water in a blood-stained vest Kept his eyes on the table, his cards, with his chest He never ran from nothing, he always finished the job Drove a black Cadillac around town for the mob If somebody wouldn't pay, he'd help them understand They said you're soon to be acquainted with Iron right hand Guns, drugs, women, money Everything was free And he never lost a fight In a hundred and three Everybody knew him From Berlin to Japan They said he hurt a lot of people But he never killed a man Had a woman by the name of Louise She was in the mall when he G's, he told the boss man, I'll throw the next fight. He said, you better go down. Well, it's good night. Meanwhile, in a mansion on the other side of town, Godfather gathered all his henchmen around. He said, call up the boogies with the odds for the fight. Get me ringside seats, I won't make a killing tonight. Now on the night of the fight, he took Louise by the hand. He said, if things should turn bad, I hope you understand. I left some money by the bed in a leather sack. Just buy a one-way ticket and don't have a look back. Stepped into the corner and they covered him in grease. He saw the Godfather ringside, was packing a piece, and then he walked into the middle with the referee. Said, I want a good, clean fight now, you boys, listen to me. Seconds out, round one, they ran the bell. As a pony came up swinging like a bat from hell. He took one on the glove, counted in with his right. He was born to lose. Well, it rained on his head Like a rag to a bull As the ring turned red Before he 
eye and right hand met a stained glass show. He was laying out cold as William Blake. Somebody called the doctor, he might be dead. Don't be on a mic, would you?
The Ballad of William Dakota and the Shark Arm Murder Mystery. So, that's the end of my set. I'm going to hang here and wait for Mike to join me and hopefully we can sort of sign off with you guys together. Um, I guess I'll take this opportunity to thank uh, all of you for tuning in. Uh, I hope it was enjoyable. Um, certainly a strange experience for all of the musicians involved, but massive credit to, to Ewan, Mike, Cal for making this work um, for guys like myself and John, Danny McGeever, all the, all the Ruby's crew, so many talented musicians out there and we're not getting to play together anymore. So this is, um, this is huge for us to be able to do this. Even if I can't actually hear them, uh, at least I know that they're there and I'll be able to enjoy this later. But for you guys as the audience, this is um, a rare opportunity right now to have a real gig, you know. So, um, hats off. Hats off, you guys. And, and to you, man. And to you, man. Outstanding stuff. Okay, so I should be joined by Mike in a second. Let's just hang tight. By, by even more wizardry, oh, uh, Mike is about to appear. Um, just finished. Instead okay. of... Where's Mike normally? Oh, Mike's ready. There Mike's he is. There he is. Hang on. Mike is now about to appear uh, <gasps> right here. Yeah, Get Mike's going to appear here in two seconds. I'm not quite sure how all that works, but here we go. So a slight delay. Got a little bit of digital interference there. From Michael. <laughs> Michael. Hey, hey. <laughs> How's it going? That was surreal. That was surreal. That was brilliant, man. It was it was totally awesome. We had some we had we, we totally went on a bit of a journey, um, music wise, but it was a great show. A great show and I think all the audience really enjoyed it. Um we had about twenty or thirty people tuned in the whole time and loads of comments and loads of appreciation. Yeah. And yeah, great playing man. Yeah. It's great to groove again. Really good to um like just sit on that one chord yeah. and just groove, groove away. Because yeah. like, it's really hard on the internet. Really hard on the Change, internet. Yeah. Because you, yeah. you gotta feel each I, other. I made a few, made a few I, slip ups. I really did. But I'm blaming it. I'll just pretend I'll just cut out for a second. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Every time, uh, every time the internet cuts out, it's um, you know, it's it's totally fine. Um, maybe I can just because I'm actually speaking as part of the stream now, Toby. So you may have noticed, folks. Oh, uh, look what's happened. I think, uh, Toby, what's happened is um, there's been, uh, the internet has broken. The internet is broken, Toby. Uh, so your your feed now is, is all pixelated and it's not really working. So um, in which case, Toby, can I just say thank you so much and let's kill your yeah. stream and then I'll go yeah. and say cheerio to the nice folks. So Toby Morris said, what a pleasure. Have you enjoyed yourself? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Good man. Let's uh, hook up. I'll give you a call afterwards. Let's hook up on Zoom and, and have a chat. But thanks so much for playing. Oh, hang on. Thanks to everyone. Oh, it looks like we're back, oh, Toby. We're back. It looks like C-Mac got us back. Um, somehow. C-Mac. So you're actually, um, you're, can you put your head lower in your frame? It's, because I've, because I've, this is, I followed your tutorial on how to flip, how to flip the thingy. Yeah. And I'm now going to. But it's all good. Way, I, You're just a bit. Way, it's all good. Uh, C Mac has done something where I'm actually below you, so that you can see my face. But it'd be good if you were slightly lower, if you were at the very bottom of your frame. Yeah, and I think people will see it. Cool. So, um, and I think we're back in business. So, just to say, well played again. Now, um, all that pixelation is gone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's just kill. Oh, there's very strange. I'm going to have to go up here to get seen. So this is all very strange. Um, anyway, how did you enjoy it? Tell me really quickly, Toby, before we finish up here, how did you enjoy the experience? I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed knowing that I was playing with you guys. You know? mm -hmm. And I'm going to yeah. really look forward to watching it after the fact. In what yeah. But it, within myself, in the actual within moment, I have to, moment these, I these online gigs can be strange online because gigs you're performing strange. solo. There's this blank thing at the end of a song. Usually there would be a 
with this gig it's even stranger because I can't hear you guys, I can't see anyone, and I, I get no feedback at all, I have to imagine. So it's a very surreal experience to kind of feel like carrying all of that. I think with all with all the stuff, with all when I first started live streaming and stuff, um, with the whole thing, it's about there's a certain element of trust. So you just gotta trust that people are listening, and then you see in the comments, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. In this case, two minutes right. later, that right. people are enjoying it, and uh, you know that that it's all okay, and and that you are bringing some light and a bit of magic into people's right. lives, and that's kind of our job right. anyway. But it's very strange. Right. It's like doing it blindfolded. Do you, you remember know? Lewis Gibson um, posted a while ago? He posted uh, was it Willie Nelson quote about positive quote? He's like. Maybe, yeah. Change your negative thoughts into positive thoughts if you want to have positive results. It's a really simple, almost bland thing to say. It's so obvious, but uh, in, in this period of lockdown, when I've been feeling slightly anxious about kids and things, you know, like I normally would, this is my crazy brain, you know, overthinking everything. Um, I can get a bit of a spiral of negative thought, and I'm sure. Sort of yeah, oh, as well. me too. Terribly. What I've been doing recently with these gigs and um, events that I've been involved in is I spend the week building up to them, not allowing myself to be negative thoughts. So when I feel the negative thought, I try to switch it around and I, and I focus on all the positive things. And, and I just tell myself it's going to be great. You know? And I find, regardless of how the event turns out, it changes how I feel going into it. It takes away some of that. And that's mad for me so to, to do that. But yeah. you Lewis. I think that's really good practice. I think there's a there's a difference between there's a difference between turning negative thoughts into positive thoughts and repressing negative emotions. Mm -hmm. I think you need to feel every single emotion, even if it's stress or anger or whatever. I do, I but do like, as but soon I think, as you feel, feel them too much, it's very detrimental to my health. <laughs> no, I think I think it's probably detrimental to your health because you don't want to feel them. Not let's not let's not get too psychoanalytical right right now because it's just about to finish. But but I think the idea for me, what's helping me, is the idea that I should um, experience my emotions to the full and let them right. pass. You know, instead of repressing them, and that way a lot of the negative thoughts stay away, and I can just stay uh, straight down the middle. That sounds very uh, very uh, sort of. Uh... A Buddhist approach, almost. A Buddhist approach, almost. It's, it works for me anyway. I know me and you have lovely philosophical and spiritual conversations all the time, so I love that stuff. But I think we're going to have to end it here, Toby. But thank you so much for joining us. I, I, I think this worked. I'm going to have to lower my face because now it looks like your upper head and my lower head are the same <laughs> face. <laughs> what, a, what a horrible concoction. <laughs> right? I know. Maybe I should come back here. I'll just say... Um, Thanks so much again for joining us, and uh, let's look forward to looking back. And let's hook up afterwards on Absolutely. Zoom or something Thank and have you a beer. Thank you. Okay, Bye. right. You kill this sure. stream. Uh, and Hello? Hello, did it work? Hello. Right, I'm going to just need to meet up here. Never tried that before. That was exciting. Are you still with us, folks? I think you're still with us. Um, that was very surreal. Um, but thank you so much. And a total experiment. I like doing these live experiments. Don't you? So that, for me, Toby, Toby finished his song about a minute and a half bef before I finished playing the song. And so that way, once... He f once I finished playing the song, I jumped in with the conversation with him, even though he chatted for a while. So I basically time traveled and now I've time traveled back again, back to the future. Uh, and I'm here. So let me just address some of these comments, folks. Now the pressure's off and everyone has done such an amazing job uh, tonight. Callum McIntyre on the drums. Boom, boom, boom. Crash, crash, crash. What an amazing guy. Ewan Gibson on the bass and the double bass. We just introduced the double bass tonight and I think it worked really well. I hope you agree. Let me know in the comments. Um, and obviously, John McKenzie in support. That seems like a lifetime ago. <laughs> and Toby Mortishead uh, as our headliner. Um, what a great night and we are, uh, we can't wait to do our next one. Now, as I mentioned before, folks, the whole stream cycle idea is um, many of us have been doing live stream gigs uh, straight to Facebook. 
but it's easy enough when you're a songwriter you're, or you're a singer and you can do some stuff and accompany, and accompany yourself. But if you're a sideman, i.e. if you're a drummer, if you're a bass player, if you're a horn player, for example, ain't no gigs. Ain't no gigs. So not only is there no more revenue, there is no more opportunity to play live music with people. Uh, and we're implementing some ideas to introduce even more musicians into the Stream Cycle team. We've got an incredible trombone player who I'm going to reveal in the coming week or so, uh, who's going to join us. I think he's going to join us for maybe a Mike Kearney stream. I, uh, I'm going to do some uh, of my own music. I'm going to jump into... Oh, I'm going to jump into the guest slot, into position one, and a uh, trombone player is going to come down here. And we're also going to introduce, uh, we're also going to have, try and have two guests on at the same time uh, and have five musicians on the go. So we'll have position one, oh, position one, position two, and then three in the bottom. So this is all very exciting and we're trying to, um, we're working very hard to try and develop this more and uh, incorporate more musicians who are completely out of work. So if you want to support us, please spread the word. Uh, tune in next time. Uh, we're going to take a week off next Saturday. We're not going to do a gig because we all need just a bit of time. Uh, in fact, I, I need a bit of time. Uh, there's quite a lot on my plate, so I need a bit of time. going to take a week off from Stream Cycle, and then we're going to have like three gigs in a row, three weekends in a row, uh, and you're more than welcome to come along. But if you do want to support us, donate. There's a, a payment link above. If you think that this gig would have been worth five pounds, ten pounds in the real world, um, we're asking you, we're not demanding or anything because we know some people can't uh, pay and we know that this is going to be good for people's souls anyway. So we're giving it out there um, just now for free. But if you can't afford it and you think it was um, worthy of, pay worthy of um, you know, if you think it was of value, go ahead and donate five pounds. Donate ten pounds, whatever you think it was worth, because that will keep the. Um, not only will it keep the project going and keep it growing, but it will also pay these fine musicians that you heard tonight. Uh, it will pay them for their work, pay them for their service. They had to learn this music. They had to uh, work out a lot of technical uh, issues. Uh, in Toby and John's case, uh, Toby and John's case, they had to write amazing tunes uh, and show up and give a great performance and lead a band of musicians that they had absolutely no communication with. So um, it's really tricky to do, um, but I think, uh, I hope you agree, this all gone really well. So if you do want to support us, please click, click the link above uh, and donate into the project. All the money goes to the musicians and we're going to expand the family and we're going to continue to make things grow. So uh, that said, let me just look into some of these comments. Candy says, taste the rainbow. That must have been when all the the stuff was getting pixelated. That was in a wee experiment. I tried to jump into Toby's stream using Facebook guests. I'm not sure if it worked. Well done. Uh, who or Hugh says, uh, Hugh McKenzie. Well done, everyone. I can only imagine how difficult that must have been. Excellent. It was, it's getting less difficult every time we do it, Hugh. Thanks, though. Uh, Jack Nissan says, this is definitely pretty surreal. <laughs> it was. Well, good. It was surreal for me, too. But I'm getting used to the... Uh, I'm getting used to jumping the time cracks, as I call it. Um, Julie says, it was very tight despite being in other places. Great, Julie. Good to hear. Really nice to groove out with the guys. Um, Colin Cornwall says, incredibly professional, original, and great. Musicians, one and all. Just amazing. Toby needs headphones on. Ah, yes. Uh, good point, Candice. Toby will get headphones on when we do the, uh, when we do the split screen thing. That's a good point. Good point. Okay. Julie says, yep, Brill. Everyone says, yep, still here. Uh, Candy says, Ewan could probably scooch the big boy a bit closer to the mic, uh, but it was great. Yeah, we can, there's a bunch of audio stuff to look at for next time as well. Uh, I, I was hearing some crackling and stuff anyway. There's so much crackling and, and digital distortion, all these words that you never hear before. And I had huge internet issues earlier on. So I'm glad that's all, uh, it all worked out. All um, came off with it without, pretty much without a hitch. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll sign off and we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for Stream Cycle number four. And Stream Cycle number five will, as I said, be in two weeks' time. And we'll make sure and let you know who will be the special guests. 
I'm not sure who it's going to be this time. We may have, you know what? We may have. Um, no, let's. I'll I'll keep I'll keep it surprised because we've uh, we're still waiting for confirmation. But it's going to be an amazing show. And we'll see you then. And we hope that we can count on your support moving forward. And we also hope that everyone is. Uh, I hope tonight's music helped everyone either escape from the harsh realities of planet Earth or helped everyone get a, a better perspective on how they can move forward um, given how difficult and complicated everything is in the world right now. So I don't have any answers, but I'll, I've got a lot of love. So I'll just send it all out to you right now. Everyone take care. Everyone stay safe. And stay all, st stop getting drunk, drunk on the beach. Just stay at home. Nothing's really changed. You can go see a family member, but you still have to be two meters away. Oh, it's oh, I'm not. Don't get me started. Everyone needs to chill out and keep the rules going, or else a whole bunch of vulnerable people are gonna die. Ah, who cares? Anyway, I'm not. I won't get cynical. I'll say, I hope it all works out, uh, and I'll say I'm looking forward to get getting back gigging in real life but in the meantime i'm really enjoying stream cycle and we hope you are too please everyone take care and we'll see you next time all the best <laughs>